Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use multiple component of transitions in Material UI. Transitions are very, very useful that give additional effect in our applications whenever we try to build but we have a lack of knowledge or we are not aware about those components those are very very useful and very simple to use also so in this video i am going to explain all the possible transitions components we use in material ui for that i have used one icon also here to make it like this now what i do i just try to design a interface so I say box layout designing, this is the snippets which I have created. So here I'm using this, importing this and here I say MUI transition, transitions example. Save this and if you see that now we have this output, we try to design now. So first of all, I just uh, design a switch. So I take here box layout first of all. In this box layout, I design the switch. So I say form, control, label. And in this form control label, I use label and I say show transition. And here I give control. So now you see we have a control here. In this control, I need to pass switch. So I say switch, switch here and in this switch I need to pass check parameter and here I need to pass the value which is required. So I say value uh, then I have the on change, on change event here and here I pass handle change like this and now I just close this switch now I create one state variable I say const and this variable I just give show and set show so I change this value to show and here I say use state and here I pass false by default now I create function that is handle change and in this function in this function what I do I say set show not equal to show so it will switch the switch on and off and uh, if we see now we have uh, this show transition I click here so we have this show transitions now I can uh, give margin also I say mx so I give mx3 so you see now I design first transition component so I say here stack spacing equal to 2 direction equal to row and here I use mui typography first of all here I say uh, that is uh, I say h5 and this is uh, the value which I want to pass here I say that is collapse so first component that I am going to use is a collapse and here I say collapse and remember that in collapse we have a attribute here I am passing show in attribute now under this collapse i am using a icon that i use here ac unit icon that i am using and in this icon i say sx equal to width i say 150 pixel and uh, i say height is 150 pixel and uh, i just close this and save this okay 
stack is undefined so I use a stack also here save this and now if you see here we have a collapse here I do this and you see we have the output on the basis of switch so I just provide some more common properties so here in a stack I say that is mx equal to 3 you see we have little bit of this side yeah so here on the basis of this we have a collapse remember that so by this we have a transition effect one more property we have in collapse that is uh, the collapse size so I say the collapse size is I say it is 40 only so that will show only the 40 pixel of this by default so I just do this you see refresh it so we have this and I can say 50 because 50 it will show a little bit better and you see now that only 50 pixel of this is visible when I click show then it is visible all complete you see so if this kind of effect you want to show or you want to use in your application so you can use collapse also for doing this and we try to put one more thing here I say timeout if we want to make it delay so I say timeout is 1000 means one second so if I try to make it delay you see you see so you can increase this time whatever depend on you timeout property and you can make it delay also now like this we have more components so after this collapse we are going to use fade component for for fade just i write here i say fade this fade component i use here and in place of collapse i say fade component and here i say fade in place of this in fade also we have this but i do not have this collapse size but i have a timeout also so I can increase this time I say it is two second now so fade show and display you see so I just remove this so you see fade is not working now if I on then fade is also coming so this timeout we can decide we can increase more time also whatever we want and if I just disable you see it taking long time to be fade or it taking long time to be display so if this information or this type of transitions effect you want then you may use fade also you see now we have a next uh, component is called grow so i just copy this again paste here and i change it to grow so i say grow component here we have in here we have timeout here and in place of fade i change to grow and here in fade I say grow you see all are just look, look like a simple simple one but just we have to change the name now you see we have a grow also you see it taking lot of time because we have set this to you see grow and we can make it fast also by just giving a time duration less one and just I show hide and I just show you see so it giving a grow kind of effect it giving a fade kind of effect it giving a collapse type of effect now next one we have uh, slider so we can use slider also for that I take one more stack the next line I say spacing equal to two direction equal to row mx equal to 3 now I copy paste and I say here slider or slide here I say slide like this and I just give here slide I remember that in slide we have a, a direction also so I say direction from the right side save this 
and now you will see the magic by using slider you see so if i do you see on so it is coming from this side i can say this to left direction save this and now you see how it will work you see so like this if you want such kind of effect it is coming from left you can do from up you can do from bottom i say up side of effect so you see that if i do this so it will come from the down to up direction you see so like this you can use slide also and we can give here some other also so i provide only left direction it looking best so up right left bottom whatever you want you can specify now next one the last one we have that is zoom if you want to use zoom just copy paste here and i say zoom so here in place of slide you may have zoom material ui and uh, I say here zoom in zoom we do not have a direction so I just remove this and we have a delay time also here now you see we have removed the direction from here and if we try to sh show this and you see and I click once again you see we have a zoom effect also so like that way you may use collapse fade grow slide and zoom whatever transition effect you want you can use in your application and you see i have explained it in a very very simple and very very easy way to understand it i try to give you that all are common all are same just we have to use few extra property in other components but otherwise all are same and all kind of properties are same here so together i have explained you that how you can use this transition component in material ui that's all in this video. I think you learn it. If you learn, please do subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.